Good morning. Dr. Fifi Zhu? This is he. I have a mission for you. Let's meet at the park right now. Be discreet. I'm undercover. a pangolin. Pangolin? Yes, and the situation for all of us pangolins is very grave. What do you mean? We are the most hunted creatures in the world. Come with me and I'll tell you the story. In fact, long ago, we pangolins lived peacefully in the forests. We spent our days feasting on ants and termites without a care in the world. Our lives were simple and we were happy. Look here, this is my cousin, the giant. He lives in Africa and measures 180 centimeters in length. He's amazing. And this one is black belly. He's very small and I adore him. He's gorgeous. So what's going on? We are the only mammals in the world with scales. And that is our misfortune. The humans say we are unique, but they hunt us down constantly for our scales. Look. But why do they do that? They think the scales have medicinal virtues, but in fact, our scales are made of keratin just like your human hair. My hair? They capture us, put us in cages, and sell us in markets surrounded by other wild animals. Look, those three are friends of mine. They lived in Asia and she had just had a baby. It's terrible. And yet, pangolins are theoretically a protected species. But that doesn't help us at all. Humans also hunt us for our meat, and thousands of us die one by one. Do you understand now? We simply want to live drinking fresh water and munching on ants. Yet our species may soon disappear. We have to do something. Yes, but all is not lost, Dr. Fifi Zhu. There are also men and women who fight to protect us. Look over there. That's my little cousin who lives in Namibia. He was saved by the Rest Association. All over the world, people are mobilizing to help us. That is my best friend. She lives in Asia. I care so much for her, but all of her family is in danger of extinction. One day she was caught by poacher, but thank God, Save Vietnam Wildlife found her and saved her life. If you only knew how many of my brothers and sisters have been saved by these people. Dr. Fifi Zhu, I have a mission for you. Go to meet the heroes of Save Vietnam Wildlife. Go to Vietnam. They will be thrilled to meet you. That's a good idea. Come on, let's go. And I'm going to launch a fundraiser on internet to support the associations that protect you. That is an excellent idea, because yes, indeed, they really could use your help. Vietnam, here I come. And I give my deepest thanks to all the people who accept to give their support to this initiative. Friends, I'm going to take you with me to Vietnam in the footsteps of the pangolin. We are going to visit the center where the Vietnam Wildlife Organization is located and we will talk with a man who has been working there for the past 18 years. We'll then go into the tropical forest in search of the pangolin's favorite food, ants. After that, we will prepare a recipe which is a delight for any pangolin. Join us in this adventure, give your support, and share this information.